If you've ever used a trigger system, so the triggers that just you attach to your snare drum and bass drum and toms, you're familiar with crosstalk as a problem. Um, that's where you hit one drum and it triggers the other drum uh, erroneously. Um, so that is still present in this system. It's present in acoustic drums. When I hit the bass drum, the snare drum will vibrate. Um, and that's a natural occurrence. And our mic, um, the sensor will pick up on those vibrations. But because our system understands the sonic characteristics of your drum, you can um, do some things to smartly protect against that. Um, so there is a couple ways you can deal with that. One is just normal thresholding. So this is our thresholding panel. Um, if you the bass drum really hard, you can see it triggering. So threshold up and it'll, it'll stop hearing that. But I'll lose a lot of um, detail. So like the rest of that roll is totally ignored. Um, so I wanna keep the threshold pretty low, but I don't want any crosstalk. So um, with our software, you can train the snare drum to recognize the bass drum um, and cancel out that crosstalk. So I'm on the snare drum channel right here, and I'm gonna train this void pad right here to recognize when I'm hitting the bass drum. So this, that's this sensor hearing the bass drum and understanding what it is and knowing not to do anything, not to make a sound. Um, so I'm gonna train this pad. And now, when I hit the bass drum, uh, you don't hear anything from the snare. And I still have a lot of uh, detailed control over the snare because the threshold is really low. So the, the snare drum will recognize the crosstalk and cancel it out, and I'll still have a lot of detailed control over the snare.